This is Jesse John, it's Corner Boxing 24. Good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing this evening? Hope everybody's doing well. As always, God is great, God is good, and I can't complain. So, <clears throat> again, in this corner, pardon me, in this corner, Boxing 24, 24 hour boxing news. Um, I love boxing, man. You know, I love boxing news. I love talking about boxes. And uh, I love talking about boxing and what's really going on. And on this channel, you know, we focus on the truth. We don't make stuff up just for views and to get subscribers and fake news and all that. We don't do that, you know. Um, and because of that, we might not be as popular as everybody else. But we got some credibility, you know. And that's what matters most to me, credibility and some respect. You know, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Ryan Garcia and his trainer, Joe Goosen, uh, who had some things to say about the upcoming fight, if it happens, between Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. So Joe Goosen, who's been with, who was actually, who actually trained Ryan Garcia prior, and now they're on their second go-round with each other, and this is their second um, going to be their second fight together after his last fight with Javier uh, Fortuna. He talked about Brian Garcia's power at the 135-pound division, or in the 135-pound division. Now, mind you, his fight with Tank, which is slated for April, is supposed to be at a catch weight of 136. But he says that, Joe Goosen says that he feels that Ryan Garcia has just as much or more power than Tank. He says that, you know, when people see him in the gym, they're amazed at what they see. And he said he has the kind of build that Oscar De La Hoya had when he was fighting at 140, 147. He said he has the physique of a welterweight, uh, Ryan Garcia. And he said he's explosive, you know. And, you know, when you got an explosive punch, it packs a lot of power. It's like thunder and lightning. You know, thunder makes noise, but lightning strikes. So he's saying basically, man, that Ryan Garcia is packing a hell of a punch. Now, and, but he also said that, you know, neither you wouldn't want to get hit by either one of them. And either, either fighter wouldn't want to get hit by the other. So he's respecting Tank's power, but he's also saying that Ryan Garcia has a lot of power. Now, I say the same thing. I never said that Ryan Garcia has more power than Tank because I don't know that. But I do say that Ryan Garcia got power. And all you got to do is look at his fights, in particularly the Fortuna fight. But then if you look at Luke Campbell, Luke Campbell caught... Ryan Garcia and dropped him. And Ryan Garcia came right back and caught him with that left to the body, man, and he was out. You know what I mean? So he definitely got power. There's no doubt about that. And I do believe that the one that catches whoever first is going to really get tested and they're going to really be able to see who has the power. Now, I don't know what their game plan would be for Tank, but I would say anybody that fights Tank if defense is not more than 50% of your game plan, then you might as well call it a night because he going to catch you. And then you got to see if you can stand up to it. You got to have defense with Tank. 50 to 60% of your game plan got to be defense. Then you got to have a jab. Okay, then you got to be able to move. You got to have footwork. You can't stand right in front of him. But if you got a jab to keep him at bay and keep him thinking what to do, and then you got some defense and you got some footwork and you can move around and go from side to side and switch it up, go left, go right, never go straight back in the line where he could just trap you, then you got something working for you. Ryan Garcia got the reach. He got the height, 5'10". He got a 70-inch arm reach to tank, I think, at 67. Got a lot of things going for him. 
but you can't get caught up in a brawl. You see what happened to Riley Romero. Riley Romero, he actually came in on Tank. Tank was almost on the ropes. Tank was backing up. And he threw a shot and looked like it caught Tank. He threw a shot, but his this hand was down. Then after he threw the shot, the shot, the right hand was down. And then Tank this time though, because he kept coming forward. And he caught him with that left. Bop. And that was all she wrote. His hands were down. Protect yourself at all times. So Ryan Garcia, you taller than Raleigh. You might be stronger than Raleigh. But if you ain't got no defense like Raleigh, you're going to suffer the same fate. So it's good that your trainer got faith in you. I definitely respect and believe that you got some power with you that Tank is going to need to respect. And I think he does know that. But I also believe he's very confident and believes that he can still land his shots. Okay? First up, you got to see how he fares against Hector Lewis Garcia, which is not going to be an easy fight. Um, got to see what happens there. But I do believe that if the Tank and Ryan Garcia get in the ring, it's definitely going to be a hell of a fight. And we're going to see who's the last man standing. We're going to see if Tank could take that power from a, a, a full-fledged 135-pounder, somebody that's been fighting at the weight, somebody that's strong, somebody that's explosive. And then we got to see if, 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 he, if Tank catches him, will it be the same as what happened with Luke Campbell where he can get up and he could capitalize. And he don't, he's just not out of it. So we just got to see, you know. But again, if you're trying to fight Tank, and defense is not in your game, 50, 60, 70% of your game, you got a problem. It's not going to work. Because Tank is going to shatter you. He, he's going to break through. You got to have defense with that dude. And defense don't mean that you're going to bob and weave every punch. You got to be able to, you got to be able to throw punches away, parry. You got to throw some punches away. You got to block some punches. You got to block some punches. You got to, you got to be able to block, man. Cause you're not gonna be able to bob and weave and move and duck under every punch. You gotta be able to use your hands, man, and throw punches away and, and counter. Like you gotta be able to do different things. So, you know, it's gonna be interesting, man, to see how this goes. Joe Goosen, I don't know him to be that kind of trainer, so we'll see. Um, De La Hoya, he learned defense under Floyd Mayweather Senior. Maybe you help your fighter out. But you're definitely going to need it with Tank. Because Tank is, is, is just what he is, man. He's a little Tank. And he's coming, to, he's coming to put you out. Coming to hurt you and he's coming to knock you out. One way or the other. All right? So that's all I really got for right now. Peace and blessings, y'all. And it's Corner Boxing 24. Everybody be safe out there. Please subscribe to the page. Please leave the comments. Everybody enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace.